Welcome to today's lesson on parallel, perpendicular, and intersecting lines. Today I'm going to teach you how to identify these three different types of lines. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin today by discussing lines. Now remember, you'll notice a line because it will be written having an arrow at each end of the line. And that's showing that it's going to go on continuously in either direction. Also remember, a line is always straight and two-dimensional. It never has wiggles or curves to it. So let's go ahead and let's start by talking about parallel lines. Parallel lines are two lines that run alongside each other that are always the same distance apart. They're never going to meet and their distance between the two lines is never going to change. Perpendicular lines are the opposite. Perpendicular lines intersect with each other or cross each other, but they have to cross at a 90 degree angle. And we can tell that they're crossing at a 90 degree angle when we are shown a square in the corner. And that's going to tell us that this is a 90 degree angle. So again, perpendicular lines have to cross each other creating four 90 degree angles. Lastly, let's take a look at intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are just two lines that cross at the same point. So you don't have to make sure that they're 90 degree angles, they just have to make sure that they are crossing at one point. Let's use the diagram on the screen to practice what we just learned. Can you tell me which lines are parallel to each other in this diagram? Well, if we look at this diagram, we can see that these two red lines look like they're parallel to each other. The distance between them is not changing and they're continually moving on in either direction. That means that we're going to write down that these red lines are parallel to each other. Now let's see if we can find perpendicular lines. Remember, perpendicular lines have to be creating right angles. So let's go ahead and look and see if we can find right angles. And if we look, we can see that there are already squares in the corner of these angles to tell us that they're 90 degree or right angles. So that means that this blue line is perpendicular to the red line. So I'm going to draw my symbol for the red line and I'm going to draw my perpendicular symbol to show the blue line. Lastly, we're going to try to find intersecting lines. Now intersecting lines just have to have at least one point where they meet. So as we can see, this green line is intersecting this red line. So I'm going to draw my red line and then my green line intersecting it. Let's look at another example together to see how you can use these in the real world. We have three images on the screen. Each image represents parallel perpendicular intersecting lines. Now it's important to remember that lines are everywhere. So you're going to see multiple types of lines on each image and that's okay. Let's decide which image best represents parallel lines. Now remember parallel lines run parallel to each other, which means they never meet and they're evenly spaced apart. If we look at our image in the middle, we can see that these white lines are evenly spaced apart and they're never going to meet. The same with these yellow lines in the median of this road. They're perfectly spaced apart and they're never going to meet. This is a great example of parallel lines. And if you're familiar with parallel parking, we call it parallel parking because you are parking parallel to the side of the street. Let's go ahead and take a look at perpendicular lines. Now remember, perpendicular lines create 90 degree angles. And if we look at our gift box over here, we have some 90 degree angles that have been represented for us by having a square in the corner. Now you can also see that we have some parallel lines as well. However, lines are everywhere, so it's important to remember that you can have more than one type of line in an image. And lastly, we have our line. And our line is a great example of intersecting lines. Look at all of these lines that we have inside of this diagram. Now, if we look at these lines, they meet, which means they're not parallel to each other. 
and they don't create a 90 degree angle, which means they're not perpendicular. That means that this line is made mostly of intersecting lines. Let's take a moment to review what you've learned in today's lesson. Remember, parallel lines are two lines that are the exact same distance apart from each other and will never meet. Perpendicular lines are two lines that cross or intersect each other, creating 90 degree angles. And you'll see this by having a square in the corner that represents 90 degrees. And lastly, intersecting lines are two lines that cross each other and they intersect at the same point.